pregame.com. Notre Dame at Michigan, Saturday night football. That's right, Saturday night football in Michigan. First time in the history of Michigan football night game at the Big House. I'm Marco D'Angelo, joined with Stephen Nover. This is a big game. Notre Dame and Michigan plays every year, but um, this is a big ball game for Notre Dame. This is going to be my best bet. I'm going to get your initial thoughts, and then I'm going to jump right in and tell you why I have who I have. Yeah, uh, this is, it's already Notre Dame season. <laughs> it's, it's their season. They, they can't go 0-2. And um, I uh, kind of surprised uh, how, much, how much of a favorite they made Notre Dame in this game. That is the, one of the basis, Stephen, for me, that jumped off the page. I talk about trap games all the time. And with the public perception, anybody that just looked at the first week, the public perception is, wow, the new Michigan coach, they rolled over Western Michigan in a shortened game because of the weather. Um, so anybody that bet that game, it was a no play uh, because it didn't go 55 minutes. But Michigan was taking it to Western Michigan. Uh, so all of a sudden, quickly, you've got excitement again at Michigan football. You know, Coach Hoke, everybody's, you know, happy the new program. He's got them off to a win, and they're excited. Notre Dame, season two of Kelly, you're expecting better things out of Notre Dame. They finished strong last year, first year under Kelly. So you got that momentum coming in, and what happens? Lou Holtz's son goes into Notre Dame and beats Notre Dame. All of a sudden, everybody's ready to push the panic button. Notre Dame's not good. Michigan's better than we thought. And then they bring this game out. Is Notre Dame a three-point favorite was the opening number, and now it went to three and a half. Why? I wouldn't have been... If they would have brought this game out at pick, I wouldn't even have thought anything of it. Would you have? I wouldn't have been surprised at all if it was a, a pick. Uh, earlier this summer, there's some <clears throat> Vegas uh, hotels that put out... Uh, uh, marquee games and they'll put out a number and, and uh, one number I saw and that was Michigan minus four and a half. Cra crazy stuff and to me putting Notre Dame out as the favorite gives me the trap alert that they are begging you to take Michigan in this game and if you dig into the ball game last week and uh, I did lean to the Notre Dame side last week so I don't want to sound like I'm you know crying sour grapes here but You've got to look at the statistics of the game. Notre Dame beat themselves in that game. South Florida didn't beat them. Notre Dame had three turn they had five turnovers total, three of them inside the five yard well, line. Well, one was a clear 14 point swing. Absolutely. You know, the guy's at the one yard line, he gets stood up, and the ball gets jerked out of his, you know, stripped out of his arms, and a guy runs, you know. Which is bad enough. You lose your seven, and they return it all the way and get seven, a 14 point swing. Yeah, they held South Florida to under 300 yards. This is what's getting lost in that game. In bad weather conditions, two different stoppages, long delays, this Notre Dame defense played very well. Take the seven points off the board that they, you know, they gave up on, on the return for the touchdown. This team held South Florida to field goals uh, most of the drives. And South Florida had some great field position off of some of the turnovers. This Notre Dame offense, in bad weather, put up over 500 yards. Michigan still has a bad defense. That defense is not fixed. It didn't get exposed last week playing Western Michigan. Western Michigan didn't have the tools to exploit it, and then the weather aided Michigan where you couldn't attack through the air and, and, and force the ball down the field because of the weather conditions. And then Michigan's size and, and just general athletic yeah. ability took over because of the weather conditions. But you know what hurt Michigan in this game, even though they look good against a, a MAC team? Mm -hmm. you know, we talked about yeah. MAC teams. But um, <clears throat> new system with a new coach. Uh, most of those players were recruited by Rich Rodriguez into his mm -hmm. system. Absolutely. So it's going to take time for them to learn hoax system, entirely different system. Denard Robinson, you know, great, great uh, play, you know, individual talent, numbers last year. His role's changed. He's learning a new system. You would hope, if you're Michigan, that you would have got a chance to uh, kind of learn that because of the weather, and uh, uh, they didn't. They only had the ball for 39 plays, Michigan. 
Western Michigan had a first quarter drive that lasted seven minutes. You throw in no fourth quarter, and it was a very shortened game for Michigan. And now they've got to, you know, go against Notre Dame, where I don't think their offense is in place yet. And uh, the, the the thing, though, Mark, that, that you have to answer, backing Notre Dame strong here, is Tommy Reese. 4-0 as a starter when he started. He is now going to be their starter. Uh, is that the right right call by Kelly? Second game of the season, he's already making the quarterback change. Honestly, that is the only thing I don't like about this. I, I think he's pulling the, the plug a little bit too quick. Do you? I, I, I do. I, I, you, I never like to see a, a coach going back and forth between quarterbacks, but he's making, the, he's making a move. The kid's done it in the past. He looked good when he got in. This is a situation I, again, I think Notre Dame's just got too much talent for Michigan at this point in time. I know there's a lot of hoopla over being the first night game, and the crowd's going to be psyched. There's no question about that. The crowd will be rowdy. You know, when you've got a night game, you've got tailgating all day long. The, yeah. be, the crowd's going to be loud. <laughs> They're going to be, you know. Yeah, Notre gonna, Dame's used to it. Yeah. You know what I like about Rees is if you're Notre Dame, what do you do? You get the ball to Michael Floyd, who you could argue is the best wide receiver in, uh, in uh, college football. You may get an argument maybe from some Oklahoma State uh, fans or some Arizona fans, but I would rate Malcolm Floyd, you know, the, uh, Michael Floyd, excuse me, uh, Mike Floyd, the Notre Dame wide receiver mm -hmm. as, as the best. Reese has a good chemistry with him. For where sure. Where the other quarterback didn't. I think they exploit this Michigan secondary. Um, I like the Notre Dame passing game. I like what they did last week. And again, it was not in the best of weather conditions. And honestly, South Florida doesn't have that bad of a defense. I mean, that's what kept South Florida in a lot of their games last year. And Notre Dame put up f over 500 yards last week. I think Notre Dame wins this game comfortably. This is my best bet. I did lose my best bet last week. We went 13-6 and six last year with the best bets. 0-1 to start this year. We're going to bounce back Saturday night, Notre Dame, 31-23. Sounds like you agree with me on this one? Yeah, my, my feeling is, is with you that Notre Dame's the right side. Uh, you've got a double stamp of approval here on Notre Dame. So Notre Dame is the best bet this week. As we do every week during my best bet segment, we give away a coupon. I love giving away RJ's money. We're going to give a coupon in honor of the Super Bowl champion, Green Bay Packers, I got to say, <laughs> it's Steven sitting here, Packers 10, all one word, Packers and the number 10, you're going to get $10 off. You can use that anywhere on the site. Just plug it in at the shopping cart. You'll get $10 off your order. And of course, if the package is $10, you get it free. So that wraps up our preview for Notre Dame, Michigan. We're going to be back next up. We're going to the NFL. couple big games in the NFL Sunday. Maybe the biggest of the week, Pittsburgh at Baltimore, up next.